saying he's the four. <laughs> What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out top 10 greatest ever ring announcers in wrestling by Wrestling Flashback. I know I've been dropping a lot of CM Punk videos as of late, but I wanted to get back to my regular reactions, the list of videos that I've been uh, wanting to check out. And this has been at the top of the list, it's just CM Punk thing kinda changed a lot of things. Uh, something about a good ring announcer you can never go wrong with ring announcers. They add that extra flair to a, a, a wrestler's entrance when you hear their music and they're coming down to the ring. And, you know, that that specific ring announcer, giving that flair, giving that uh, type of extra energy to the beginning of a match, just by announcing a wrestler's name in a certain way, it's always, a, it, it adds to overall performance of everything so we're gonna check out some of the greats that have ever ring announced for wwe appreciate all love of sport you guys shown on the channel appreciate all the new subscribers that have joined let's get right into this one man one, two, this on. are you ready are you ready? hey <laughs> ring announcers are a key part of the soundtrack to wrestling for sure hands at entrance or provide the closing lyric to a match rest in peace uh howard finkel man no! <laughs> a great ring announcer's calls should sound like music to your ears Uh-huh. Superstar! <laughs> classic ring introductions. The, watching Edge. Listen, I'm not listening, but just watching Edge get excited just for hearing that. Superstars. It's, you know that even the wrestlers love it, man. <laughs> From classic ring introductions to iconic announcements. The artist known as Today, we'll highlight the very best as we list the top 10 wrestling ring announcers. Number 10, mm -hmm. classic ring announcers. We start the list with a nod to some of the classic ring announcers. David Penzer was WCW's full-time ring announcer who didn't miss a single show for five years. Penzer had a strong voice that was highlighted best when announcing Sting. <laughs> The way Penta announced This Is Sting came from Gary Michael Capetta. This is Sting. Who acted as mentor to Penta and is someone who fans also remember fondly. <laughs> Over on ECW, fans were treated to the memorable voices of Bob Ortiz and Steven DeAngelis. Classic right here. This is Dad! <laughs> nine, Michael Buffer. Uh -huh. Buffer was the king when it came to creating that big fight feel. Yep. Originally a legendary boxing announcer, WCW brought Buffer to announce mm -hmm. for pay-per-view events and select TV matches. WCW fans, are you ready? Whenever fans <laughs> saw Buffer, they knew a big match was uh -huh. set to go down. The match. mandatory match for the heavyweight championship of the world. His signature call spawned catchphrases that soon became household words. So much so that they were parodied by D-Generation mm -hmm. X. Are you yep. ready? Are you, you ready? Yeah. For the thousands in attendance. Attendance, yep. And the millions watching around the world. For the thousands, thousands in, in attendance. attendance. <laughs> For the millions, millions watching, watching around, home. watching at home. Uh, let's get ready to rumble. I love it. Let's get ready to suck it. <laughs> Buffer has earned more than $400 million from licensing his trademark ready to rumble phrase. Wow. Gee, that, bro, that's the bag. 
And it, no one does it like him. No one says, let's get ready to rumble. Bro, I damn near couldn't do it all the way, man. Like, that's, I can't get mad at that. Definitely, you have to trademark that. That is, whoo, he deserves to get paid. Because, you know, when you hear that, it amps you up and gets you ready for the fight, man. Uh, let's get ready to rumble. Love it. Number eight, Greg Hamilton. Hamilton mm -hmm. provided some fantastic ring introductions during his time on SmackDown. Yeah. Yeah. The picks of the bunch included Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke Nakamura! The artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura! <laughs> Not bad at all. <laughs> Phenomenal. AJ Styles. And of course, the best in the world, oh, Shane McMahon. Man. Shane absolutely tormented Greg uh, as the ring announcer was forced to proclaim Shane as the best in the world over and over yeah. again. The best in the world! With Hamilton having to hold the note longer and longer as the weeks progress. Yeah. The best in the world! <laughs> I forgot, bro. It was just, oh my god, this wasn't even, this wasn't even good. Heel heat. They, they knew what they did with some BS having Shane win that tournament, and it, they just went overboard with it. Oh man. Bro. <laughs> Oh my Credit gosh. to Greg though, as he knocked out of the park every time. Yeah. And he was also known for having fans scream along one fall. The following contest scheduled for one fall. One fall. The following contest <laughs> scheduled for one fall. One fall. The following contest scheduled for one fall. The following contest scheduled for one fall. One fall. The following contest scheduled for one fall. One fall. One fall. One fall. One fall. One fall. Contest is good for one fall. One fall. Number seven, Paul Heyman. Oh, Heyman's yeah. menacing pronunciation of Brock Lesnar's name became should be a staple one. of their segments together after they both returned to WWE in 2012. Heyman's introduction for Lesnar got over so well during promos. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman. My name uh -huh. is Paul For the reigning, defending, undisputed WWE heavyweight champion of the world. <laughs> it later became a custom for all world title mm -hmm. matches involving Brock as Paul grabbed the mic. From yeah, the ring he would be the one to grab grab the microphone. It made sense. It it made sense. Cuckoo Katru. The Walrus know what he was. He knew he knows what he's doing when it comes to <laughs> announcing his clients so that he could introduce the beast. Fighting out of Suplex City, the reigning, defending, undisputed universe. Oh man, the hype for Samoa Joe and Brock Lesnar in a match was so so. It should have been much better. They, oh, I wish they would have pulled an audible, bro. Because if there's anybody that seems legitimate enough, legitimate enough to beat Brock, it's it's fucking Samoa Joe, bro. So champion Brock Lesnar. Heyman's MMA style intro for Brock was in keeping with Lesnar's updated presentation, which mm -hmm. leaned heavily on his shoot style background. <laughs> <laughs> the WWE heavyweight <laughs> of the world. Brock. Shut up, Paul. <laughs> Shut up, Paul. <laughs> but Heyman wasn't the only manager to personally introduce a wrestler in WWE. Armando Elamondo uh, yeah. Estrada did a great Remember job him, introducing Umaga. That's a piece of Umaga, bro. 
Listen. <laughs> to me. My name is Armando. Armando. <laughs> Armando. <laughs> I'm a Armando. Alejandro. <laughs> Samo and Bulldozer. Ooh, my God. While Ricardo Rodriguez performs uh -huh. superb ring introductions for Alberto Del Rio. Alberto Del Rio! Alberto Del Rio! Number six, <laughs> Mr. Kennedy. Having oh. a designated ring announcer is one thing, but what about a wrestler that. This was. He, he, they had something good. With his gimmick, bro. The old school microphone coming down to the ring. Mr. Bro, that shit hit. <laughs> that decides to personally introduce himself. I am Mr. Kennedy! Enter Ken Kennedy, a character with a ton of charisma, which he showcased in an innovative way by performing his own ring introduction yeah. for each match. Mr. <laughs> and then I love you. Hit the pause, Kennedy. <laughs> Bro, man, he man, he had so much potential, but you know, backstage politics and stuff like that kind of ruined him. But boy, they were they put a rocket ship to his back, bro. <laughs> Kennedy would also ring announce for other wrestlers as a way to mock them. This next contest is scheduled for one ball. Knock it. <laughs> Here is your loser of the match. Holiday. <laughs> Can you dig that? <laughs> Kennedy obnoxiously announcing his name again and again was a winning formula that got over, eventually turning Ken babyface. Mr. Kennedy! That's crazy, bro. I forgot that Kim Kardashian was, I think she was the host of one of these WrestleManias. I forgot this was a thing. And it's crazy how different she looks then compared to now, bro. Right now. Kennedy! <laughs> now before we get into the top five it's important <laughs> to highlight that even some of the best ring announcers can make mistakes mm -hmm. here is a compilation of ring announcing botches <laughs> Mistakes. So here is a compilation of ring announcing botches. Drew McIntyre, Heath Slater. Did you know my name? Ginger Mahal. Did she say Ginger? Nick. Ginger Bailey. Mahal. Bailey? Oh my. Another man. Oh yeah. Waiting anxiously with anticipation. His name is Jeff Harvey. Hardy. The reigning United States heavyweight champion, <laughs> Brett Hitman Clark. Who the Brett fuck is that? The Hitman Clark. Hit <laughs> Who the hell is Brett the Hitman Clark? The fuck is that? Thank <laughs> you now, when the ring, Eva, Eva Marie. First superstar to, call, to, to get a pinfall or submission. Accompanied <laughs> by Xavier Woods from Ghana. The the Riot Squad has been eliminated. Oh, I, I believe that was an error. By our, it, it was an error. Grammy <laughs> Award winning Tag Team of the Year. From Jacksonville, what? Florida, Alicia Keys. Big opportunity for <laughs> This nigga said Alicia Keys. When did she start wrestling? Alicia Fox. The following is a triple threat match for the number one contender's Divas Championship. Before we get going here, did, did Lillian just say triple threat? Yeah. Triple 
Lillian Garcia is a is a little intimidated by the presence of the Glamazon. Michelle is not from Boise. Still WWE champion Trish Stratus. Wait. What? Wait, wait, wait. Five, <laughs> Schimmel. Schimmel was synonymous with SmackDown in the late 90s and the oh, 2000s. Oh man, this is great. No surprise that his best introductions were some of the brand's mainstays. Rest in peace, Eddie, man. Schimmel is best remembered, however, for his high-pitched, voice-cracking yep. announcement for Edge. Chimmel initially began to emphasize the super in Super Crazy's name. Before then upping the ante <laughs> even further for the rated R superstar. The rated R superstar. superstar. <laughs> yeah. Edge had previously noticed the unique spin Chimmel put on John Cena's name. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Edge then asked Tony if he could come up with something different for him. The result was Chimmel going through puberty any time the Rated R Superstar <laughs> made his entrance. The Rated R Superstar! The Rated R Superstar! He's like, do it! <laughs> Lillian Garcia. Lillian was to the raw brand. She definitely Chimel deserves to be on this down. list. Garcia was a familiar voice to wrestling fans throughout the 2000s. Lillian is also a singer and is known mm -hmm. for her belting rendition of the U.S. national anthem. From sea to sea. Garcia has also been involved in a few <laughs> angles over the years and has even taken some big bumps. Yeah. Like oh, my oh my God! God. Holy! <laughs> Oh my God, Daniel, bro. Lillian didn't deserve that. She never deserved that. She's just the ring announcer. Why? God, Daniel. Garcia has also been involved in a few angles over the years and has even taken some big bumps. Look at this. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. Oh my! But Lillian will be best recognized for a tremendous run as Monday Night Raw's ring announcer. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was a crazy moment, bro. And she saved her best introduction for one of the show's top moment. talents, Triple H. When he heard he is the former <laughs> this nigga got mad. <laughs> Lily was petty, but he's the former. <laughs> that was great. That that was oh my! I forgot about this clip. The former, <laughs> when someone announced you as the former champion, bro, in front of your entrance. Oh my god, we gotta watch that. Oh my god, was so great, bro. Oh my god, dog. <laughs> and she saved her best introduction for one of the show's top talents, <laughs> Triple H. Number three, the man. Fucking chased him. <laughs> we gotta go back. The 
This nigga chased her, bro. He was about to kill her, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> Number three, Samantha Irvine. Irvine lit up both Raw and SmackDown mm -hmm. with killer ring introductions that showed off her insane vocal range. She did this by giving each wrestler something different. Whether it was her symphony-like mm -hmm. introduction for Imperium. Yeah, Ludwig Kaiser. That shit is cold. I ain't gonna hold you. Nah, she be killing that. And his opponent, accompanied to the ring by the Intercontinental Champion Gunta, representing Imperia. Bro, that Ludwig Kaiser, that shit sound cold. She made that shit, bro. She made that shit sound so Ludwig Kaiser. That shit is so cool. I don't know why. Why that shit sound so cool? But she spun that and it, it, bro. She's the only one that can announce it and make it sound that much more, give it that much more pizzazz. Ludwig Kaiser. That, that shit is so tough. <laughs> Her high pitch inflection for the mm -hmm. likes of Chelsea Green and Maxine Dupree. The team of Sonia Deville and Chelsea Green. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, she be killing it. Stop it. <laughs> Here is your winner, Maxine Dude. <laughs> she be or hitting that. Grandstand vocalizations introducing Roman Reigns or Ricochet. Roman Reigns. Hear the boos. Hear the boos. Of course, Ricochet got to get a good one, man. That's that's his fiance right there. Got to get a good entrance, man. Irvine helped each wrestler's entrance stand out. While For at the sure. same time, Samantha was allowed to flourish, being able to display her talent and creativity, establishing herself as one of the top ring announcers in the business. Mm -hmm. The Judgment Day! Nah, she be killing him. The end, the end, the champion, Carmelo Hayes! Step freaking! <laughs> she be putting her all into it. Number two, Justin Roberts. Justin Roberts, Roberts worked yeah. Roberts to establish himself as one of wrestling's best Definitely deserve to be on this list. And this contest set for one fall is for the WWE Championship! His voice was a fixture in WWE for over a decade. Mm -hmm. In that time, his unique announcing style received much praise from the fans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah, he definitely had some good calls. <laughs> Despite how good Roberts was in WWE, it was only a glimpse of what he was truly capable of. The Dapper Yapper was at his best uh -huh. after joining AEW. There he was able to be himself and had a different the flavor to the countless wrestlers ring intros, thanks to some truly brilliant enunciations. Yeah. Yeah.
There's something about the, with the, the John Cena's and the John Moxley. He got that little pizzazz. Yeah. Hey, he was born and raised 1,670 miles northwest of North Carolina. North Carolina. Kenny. <laughs> Roberts was allowed to be creative and mm -hmm. have fun with his ring introductions in a way that hadn't really been seen in mainstream wrestling before. Remember that. The challenger from wherever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> number one, Howard Finkel. They could only be. I knew he had to be number one. Just he had to be number one. Rest in peace, man. One to take top spot. None other than the Fink himself. Yeah. Howard was WWF's first employee and is credited with coming up with the name WrestleMania. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WrestleMania. But Finkel wow. is most known for his legendary voice. The following contest. Oh, yeah. What? Which can be heard during some of wrestling's greatest moments, mm. especially when a new champion was crowned. And the emphasis in Fink's voice made a title win feel huge. Yes. Oh, that new You knew you'd made it when Howard Finkel announced your name. Yeah. There are certain wrestlers' introductions the Fink is best remembered for. Oh man. There was something special about the way Howard announced the start of the Royal Rumble match. His mm -hmm. signature introduction for the bout greatly added to the excitement. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the 1999 Royal Rumble match. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the Royal Rumble match. It is now time. Man, bro. In his later years, the Fink still kept an annual on screen presence at WrestleMania Damn, man. by introducing each year's Hall of Fame. We miss you, Howard Finkel, man. New inductee in the WWE <laughs> Hall of Fame class. On top of being widely considered as the greatest ring announcer of all time, the Fink is also remembered as being <laughs> one of the hardest people the business has ever seen. Howard was not only beloved by fans, yeah. but also by his peers. Uh -huh. Live from the Manhattan Center, the 25th anniversary of Monday Night Raw. <laughs> Now, if you enjoyed That's this video, awesome, be sure we, to check out our video on Finkel, iconic man. chants that fans love to shout out. Ah, at. man, we miss you, Finger. This was a great video. Brought me down memory lane. I'm going to go ahead and give this a like, and you should, too. Link to the original video will be down below. Ah, man. It, it hits the feels. It hits the feels because we know we'll never hear his live voice again, but we have the many, many clips of him announcing great and legendary matches um before and after the matches and you know those will live on forever so uh shout out to everyone that was on this list y'all are a part of the show 
even though you're not in the ring you're not wrestling y'all make the show what it is as well you don't want someone announcing someone before they come to the wrestling ring and it doesn't hit but y'all make their entrance that much better and y'all can sometimes hype up a match and make a match more memorable because of your ring announcing so uh man this this was a a really really dope hit so comment down below let me know your favorite ring announcer of all time but i appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on the channel well to uh i said i don't know what the fuck i was about to say road to 150k and i'm still getting to be the youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all kicking in with me see y'all next one peace